seemingly in control early in the fourth quarter Thursday night. Bath needed overtime to beat Wasi on and advance to tonight's district title game. They face Western Buckeye League foe Wapakoneta, who overcame Napoleon's slow ball tactics in their low scoring semifinal win. Bath beat the Redskins by nine in their regular season matchup earlier. Wapak thinking upset. Skins striking first. Carly Buzzer, two of her nine points. The 2 0 star. Bath hitting threes all half long. Bree Smith. Takes it and drills the wing triple. One point lead for Bath, 10 for Smith. Back comes Wapak, Maddie Styles to Riley Culver in the post. Nice left hand. Skins back up by one, but then the threes keep raining. Alyssa Manley leaves it for Danielle Van Dyne. She fires it up. Nine to four, Wild Kittens. The threes continue. Manley, look at this deep three in transition. Way back there. The 12 6 lead for White. Bath playing defense as they always do. The steal by Cassie Best. Tracks it down, gets it to Manley. The unselfish decision. It's 14 to 8. Wild Kitten. Skins hanging in there. Look at this falling down three by Styles. It's 14 to 11 late in the first quarter. We head to the second. Megan Watt cuts the lead to one on this long ball. It's 19 18 Bath. But the Wild Kittens respond with what else? Manley. Deep three using the screen. And then Jenna Holler will set up number 13, the junior soccer standout, catch and shoot. She had 19 points, five triples, it's 33-22, Bath the half, third quarter. Fast break to Maddie Dakin, junior taking over, 48-34, Bath after three quarters. Then in the fourth, Kittens put it away, Dakin drives, and the foul. She finishes with 18, Bath cruises 61-42. 12 of 23 from beyond the arc. Threes were the key. We've got kids that can do that. I mean, this team right now is rivaling the all-time school record as a team from the three-point line, and tonight that certainly showed up when we played in the district final. It really gave us motivation in going in the second half and knowing that if we keep hitting them that we pretty, mu pretty much have a well-rounded second half. So hitting the threes is a big key. Just that we had to keep going and we had to make sure we stomped on them and got through the game and finished the game. Our kids work all year long and prepare all summer long for this type of an opportunity. And I'm really happy for them. They've really grown as a team this year and this was a great win for us. Yeah, it does. It feels really good. I'm glad to be going to regionals again. They are back in that regional semifinal from Ohio Northern University, taking on Toledo Rogers, who took down Clyde tonight. A big game there in Division II. So Rogers and Bath, the late game at Ohio Northern. It's a doubleheader with D3 earlier. Bellevue and Talmadge are on the other side. The winners of those two regional semifinals will be at Ontario on Friday.